Mabuhay! Great day guys! Welcome to TSA Toy Stash in Action with another toy review and I'm Ranger Dave and today we are gonna check out the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Snyder Cut Cyborg figure. So this is awesome guys because there are two versions for the Snyder Cut, uh, you know, a Cyborg figure and we actually got uh, the regular version so I am mostly excited about this figure because this figure shows the face for Ray Fisher and uh, you know so far uh, the sculpt on this head is just amazing so let's go ahead guys and check it out okay guys so here he is you know inside the packaging and of course you got the McFarlane DC Multiverse uh, packaging right here so you got the logo for DC Multiverse and the Snyder Cut right here so that is just dope and going here at the side again you got the cyborg name and of course going here you got Justice League and logo right there so that's just awesome going here at the back you will see the artwork right here so this thing looks like you know the one that's reflecting on what's inside of his mind so that's just awesome so I like that and yeah let's go ahead and open this figure alright guys so here he is you know Ray Fisher cyborg right here so this is awesome I like it and this is just amazing I love the detail on this right here guys the sculpt is amazing and I have to say that head sculpt is the best all right so for the head guys as I mentioned before you know this is just the best head sculpt so far for the entire wave now for the entire wave they have you know hits and misses it mostly is like a miss for the head but right here for the Ray Fisher head I it captures uh, Ray Fisher so that is just awesome and going right here uh, for the entire body guys I love the detail on this you know the weathering for the paint job that is just cool you got uh, the basic chrome type of uh, you know silver that you're gonna get but you also get this darker tone of silver you know like a metal uh, battle damage or weathering so that is just awesome because you can actually feel it throughout the entire suit and going here the neck the neck detail is amazing I mean look at that if I put up right here the entire head it goes all the way up to that peg so that is just amazing so I love that you know usually uh, they don't you know just go ahead straight up until the neck so they just cut it off but this thing has it all the way so that is just really really good and going here again you got the abs so the abs just looks amazing now uh, the paint job right here for the red seems to be like a misprint because it's a little bit sideways but you know that's passable because you can actually just fix that if you like you know if you're trying to repaint it but you know I'm okay with that it's not that, that of a big deal but yeah going here for the entire legs you got more detail you have more scuff marks so that's amazing and I have to say this right here at this part right here the joints I really like that guys you know the joints right here I, I really like that because of the point where it, you got the feel of like a Mafex or like that Beast Kingdom thing so that's just awesome and going here uh, for the toes I mean the do the toes dude uh, this is the best sculpted toes I have ever seen so that is just really awesome now uh, the changes right here is this is not die cast there's no die cast parts like uh, the Mafex has die cast feet all right or the the Beast Kingdom has a die, die cast chest so they don't have any die cast right here but it has an amazing sculpt guys so even here if you look at the back I mean look at that that is amazing sculpt so look at that that is just really cool and you know I love uh, the sculpt out of this figure now the only issue that I find it a little weird is because of this crotch area you know uh, inside you got two points or two pegs that uh, you know get to align uh, within the crotch so I just wish that they could have just stuck it already not getting you know uh, taken off so it just moves right there so that's a little bit of a bothersome because it moves right here but you know once you get it in there if you try to glue it it would work so yeah okay guys now going for the accessory of course you get the basic McFarlane stand right here so that is just dope and going right here you got the trading card so this is also the same design at the back of the box so that is just really cool you also get an extra hand right here so this is actually a blaster for his you know I, I believe this is like his left hand yeah so this is just really cool guys because this uh, hand right here is the laser hand that they use uh, to try to shoot uh, you know Superman when he was actually revived so that is just awesome and I love the detail on this you get you know you got all that scuff marks so that's just amazing so I love this 
Look at that, that is just really cool. Okay guys, now applying the accessory is gonna be very easy. So all you need to do is just get this extra, you know, hand or arm or blast or whatever you wanna call it and just unpeg your regular hand right here. So this thing is on a, you know, ball peg. So it's like a similar ball peg, uh, but it's a little different. I believe this is just a peg, but yeah, you, all you need to do is just take it off and of course apply right here uh, your desired blaster so it's, it you do need to follow the groove though so you see here and of course you see there so you just need to follow that groove and then you just peg it in there you go it's a slide now a, a fun thing about this guys uh, because uh, unusual figures like the mafex and of course some of the other figures uh this uh, when you try to change your hands, it feels like it's gonna break off. But going right here on this figure, it's very seamless, so I like that. You know, it's it's easier to change, uh, you know, alternative hands. So that is just awesome. I mean, look at that. That is very easy to apply, and it's really cool because it sticks in there very nicely. You don't need to worry about it uh, being too loose, and you could still move it. So that is just dope. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead and check out the articulation on Cyborg. Now this has a little bit of a different articulation points because of the you know entire scope out of it uh, of him being a robot guy so for the head of course you got uh, basically at uh, the same for the head you got a bow joint so you can move it up and down and of course side to side and you can tilt it so there you go you can rotate it so whatever you like for the head uh, he can do it so that is awesome going right here for the arms you can you know move it forward and back you can move it 360 if you like so that is awesome you can raise it up about this much and higher if you like so that is just cool and of course, I have to say guys I love the detail on that it doesn't break and you got the butterfly joint right here by McFarlane so that is just cool you got a bicep swivel right here so that is just awesome as well so it is connected right here for this uh, shoulder piece so that's you know a little bit of a bummer when you try to move it but also cool because you know you get a little bit of dynamic so that's just nice and going right here you do have a single hinge right here uh, for the hands or for the entire elbow so that's as far it could go but I have to say you know this uh, ratchet joint right here it's a uh, very good uh, for your cyborg figure so I like that now uh, this is what it looks like if you are using the blaster hand and going right here for the other hand guys you can move it again it's still on a hinge right or it's still one hinge but going here right here for the wrist it's not on a bow hinge but you can swivel it right here and of course you do have up and down also by the hinge now uh, there is like a different articulation point right there but but it's not a bow joint or you know it's not a bow hinge so that's just cool and going right here for the upper torso and lower torso guys or for the waist you do have both uh, you know bow joints so you can move it side to side right here so that's awesome and then rotate if you like and you know just a really 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 large uh, movement right there so for the waist again you can do so and you know you got a lot of motion right there so that is just awesome I love that and going right here guys you can make him do the splits about this far so that is nice then you know back right here forward and back right there so that is just very awesome and you got a thigh swivel right here a single jointed you know, um, knee so that is just nice again you got that ratchet, you know ratchet joint so that's cool and going right here you do have a ratchet joint uh, for the ankle so that's just the thing that he can do you know he's just gonna uh, forward right there and of course you got a boot cut or a toe cut for cyborg okay guys so for a quick size comparison here he is cyborg with the rest of the Snyder cut figure so we got flash and of course Aquaman right here and I love the scaling on this right here guys you could actually see uh, that the cyborg figure is a little uh, taller than Barry right here so that is just awesome because he is a you know cyborg so that is just cool and going right here he's not too big or uh, you know too tall for Aquaman so that is awesome but he is taller than Batman I believe so that uh, I'll be just trying to check that right there all right so here he is with the Batman figure so as I mentioned guys uh, the Batman figure 
Uh, he is a little smaller than a cyborg, but that's okay. You know, again, he is cyborg, so he's supposed to be a little taller because of, you know, cybernetic parts. But yeah, that's awesome. And here she is, you know, uh, this is the Wonder Woman 1984 next with our cyborg figure. So this actually looks great because, you know, they are perfectly leveled right here. You can actually sense of a little bit of a scaling, although I still am rooting for a official version for Snyder Cut for a Wonder Woman figure, you know, to get that sword and shield. And lastly, guys, here he is next with our red and blue Superman variant and, of course, our, you know, stuff and wool figure. So this is awesome because you can see it is still perfectly scaled and, you know, Henry Cavill Superman right here it still is way bigger than the Cyborg or, you know, he's still taller. So that is just dope. Alright guys, so that's my take for the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse and Snyder Cut Cyborg figures. So this is awesome guys. I totally like it. The sculpt, the paint job, and of course the likeness of the actor. This one actually got it guys. So this is really cool. And I'm totally recommending this figure. And yeah, I'm totally gonna give this figure a 5 out of 5 rating. And you know, I hope you guys like this video. And if you are new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be updated on every new video we have here. We have hundreds of videos guys on the channel. Please do check them out and if you find them awesome or nah, you know, we're just happy that you're here. Remember guys, life is one big collection. Peace out. God bless.